It's time to hop into the spring season with an interesting video about bunnies, rabbits, and hares. But what exactly is the difference between these adorable long-eared animals and what is their connection to Easter? These beloved creatures of spring have captured our hearts for centuries, from their soft fur and twitching noses to their adorable hopping movements. But did you know that there's much more to these creatures than just their cuteness? In this video, we'll explore the fascinating world of bunnies, rabbits, and hares, examine their biology, behavior, history, and how they've become such a central figure in celebrations like Easter. We'll start by understanding the differences between bunnies, rabbits, and hares, and then explore how these animals fit into the natural world. We'll also discuss their long-standing connection to Easter and why they've become symbols of spring and renewal. Stick around for some fun facts at the end, and let's hop into the world of these fascinating creatures. Let's begin by clearing up the difference between rabbits, hares, and bunnies. So what exactly are rabbits? Rabbits belong to a group of mammals called Lagomorphia, which they share with hares and pikas. Within this group, rabbits belong to the family Laporidae, and there are about 30 different species of rabbits found around the world. Rabbits are smaller, with shorter legs and smaller ears compared to hares, and they tend to live in burrows. These burrows are called warrens and can be quite complex with multiple tunnels for safety and comfort. Hares, on the other hand, are distinct from rabbits. Hares are typically larger and have longer ears and legs. Unlike rabbits, hares do not live in burrows. They create nests called forms on the ground where they hide and sleep. Hares are also born fully furred with their eyes open, making them more independent from the moment they are born. Unlike baby rabbits, which are born blind and hairless. But what about bunnies? When people talk about bunnies, they're often referring to rabbits. The term bunny is a playful or affectionate name for a rabbit, especially for younger ones, while rabbit is the correct term for the species. Often bunnies are young rabbits, and this is the image most of us associate with the word bunny. Their tiny size, soft fur, and big eyes make them irresistibly cute. People may also use the term bunny when referring to domesticated rabbits, which are tame and have been bred to have certain features. In short, the term bunny is not a scientific term, so really it could refer to rabbits or hares, whereas bunny rabbit is just an extension of this term and also usually refers to rabbits. Now that we understand the differences between bunnies, rabbits, and hares, let's take a closer look at their biology and how they survive in the wild. Rabbits and hares are herbivores, meaning they eat only plant matter. Their diet primarily consists of grasses, leaves, and shrubs. They have strong, sharp teeth that are constantly growing, so they need to gnaw on things like twigs and grasses to wear them down. This is one of the reasons why rabbits and hares can be so destructive to gardens as they quickly nibble through plants and vegetables. One of the most interesting things about these animals are their powerful hind legs. Rabbits and hares rely on their legs for speed and agility. When threatened by predators, these animals can jump quickly and escape danger. Hares are particularly fast. Some species can run up to 45 miles per hour. Rabbits, while not as fast, can still reach speeds of 35 miles per hour when they need to. Rabbits and hares have excellent hearing and sight. Their long ears allow them to pick up sounds from far away and they can detect movement in their surroundings from great distances. These adaptations help them stay away from predators and other dangers. Rabbits and hares have fascinating life cycles, and although there are some similarities, there are also some key differences. Let's take a look at how they grow and reproduce. Rabbits usually give birth to litters of 3 to 12 baby rabbits called kits. Baby rabbits are born blind, deaf, and hairless, so they are completely dependent on their mothers. Female rabbits are incredibly devoted mothers, nursing their young for several weeks until they are old enough to venture out on their own. Interestingly, female rabbits can become pregnant again very soon after giving birth, so it's not uncommon for a mother rabbit to be caring for multiple litters at once. Hares, in contrast, have very different birthing processes. Baby hares are called leverets. They are born fully furred with their eyes open. They are much more independent from birth and can hop around shortly after they are born. Hares don't rely on their mother's constant care after birth, though the mother will still nurse them for a short period of time. Both rabbits and hares are known for their high reproductive rates, with some species capable of having several litters a year. This high reproduction rate helps ensure that even though they face many predators, they can continue to thrive in their environments. 
Rabbits and hares play a significant role in maintaining the balance of ecosystems, contributing in several important ways. As herbivores, they help control plant populations by feeding on grasses, herbs, and shrubs, preventing any one species from becoming overgrown and allowing a diverse range of plants to thrive. This grazing also encourages new plant growth by trimming back older, less healthy vegetation. Furthermore, rabbits and hares serve as a key food source for a variety of predators, including foxes, hawks, owls, and wolves, which rely on them for nourishment. Their burrows also provide shelter for other species, such as foxes, birds, and insects, creating microhabitats that support biodiversity. Additionally, as they move through their environments, rabbits and hares help to disperse seeds, contributing to the regeneration of plant life. Through their feeding habits, predation, and contribution to the food web, rabbits and hares are vital for sustaining healthy ecosystems. Domesticated rabbits are often kept as pets or for commercial purposes. They are a popular and gentle companion animal. Unlike their wild counterparts, domesticated rabbits have been selectively bred over generations to have a more docile temperament, making them well-suited for life in homes and gardens. They come in a variety of breeds, each with unique characteristics, such as different coat colors, textures, and sizes. While domesticated rabbits are generally kept for their companionship, they also require specific care, including a diet rich in hay, vegetables, and clean water, as well as plenty of space for exercise and exploration. Exploration. Rabbits are social animals and thrive in environments where they receive attention and interaction, often forming strong bonds with their human caregivers. In addition to their role as pets, domesticated rabbits are also bred for their fur, meat, and in some cases as show animals. Despite their domestication, rabbits still maintain many of the instincts of their wild relatives, including their need for hiding spots and the instinct to chew to keep their teeth healthy. There are many different breeds of domesticated rabbits, each with its own unique traits including size, fur type, and personality. Some popular types include the Holland Lopped, which is a small breed that's easily recognizable by its floppy ears and compact size. Holland Lops are gentle, affectionate, and enjoy interaction with humans, making them excellent pets for both kids and adults. The Mini Rex is known for their short, velvety fur. Mini Rex rabbits have a soft, luxurious coat that feels like velvet. They are small in size and tend to be friendly and curious. The Netherland Dwarf is one of the smallest rabbit breeds. Netherland Dwarfs are tiny, weighing only 1 to 2 pounds. They are playful, energetic, and often bond closely with their owners. English Angoras are famous for their long, fluffy fur that requires regular grooming to prevent batting. They are also known for being calm and affectionate, though they do require more maintenance than other breeds due to their thick coats. The Flemish Giant is one of the largest rabbit breeds. Flemish Giants can weigh up to 14 pounds or more. Despite their size, they are known for their gentle and docile temperament. The Dutch Rabbit is recognized by their distinctive white markings that form a collar around their neck. Dutch Rabbits are active, social, and enjoy being part of the family. There are also many other breeds of domesticated rabbits. These breeds vary in size, color, and temperament, so potential rabbit owners can find one that best fits their living environment environment and lifestyle. Whether you're looking for a small affectionate companion or a larger more independent rabbit, there is a breed for nearly every type of pet owner. Rabbits have long been a staple in magic shows, often appearing as part of the classic rabbit out of the hat trick which has become one of the most iconic illusions in the history of magic. The tradition of using rabbits in magic performances dates back to the 19th century when magicians would use them to create a sense of wonder and surprise. The quick appearance of a rabbit seemingly out of nowhere symbolizes the magician's ability to perform impossible feats. Rabbits are ideal for such acts due to their calm demeanor, ability to be handled easily, and their relatively small size, which makes them easy to conceal in props like hats, boxes, or special compartments. Over time, the use of rabbits in magic shows has evolved with many magicians incorporating them into more elaborate routines, adding to their mystique and charm. Despite being used in a variety of illusions, rabbits continue to be beloved for their innocence and connection to the whimsical, magical world of stage performances. You may be wondering, how did bunnies and rabbits become so closely associated with Easter? The connection between rabbits and Easter has a long history, and much of it revolves around fertility and renewal. Rabbits, as we've learned, 
land are incredibly fertile creatures, and throughout history they have been symbols of new life and rebirth. This made them a perfect fit for Easter, a holiday that celebrates the resurrection and arrival of spring. In fact, many cultures have long associated rabbits with fertility and the arrival of new life. The Easter bunny specifically is believed to have originated from ancient European traditions where it was thought that the rabbit or hare would lay eggs as a symbol of fertility. Over time, the Easter bunny evolved into the character we recognize today, delivering chocolate eggs and treats to children on Easter Sunday. The connection to eggs also ties into the idea of new life. Eggs are a universal symbol of birth and beginning, making them a perfect symbol for Easter. The tradition of the Easter egg hunt, where children search for hidden eggs, likely began in the 18th century in Germany and soon spread to other parts of Europe and North America. The Easter bunny, in this case, acts as a fun and magical figure who hides the eggs, bringing joy to the holiday celebrations. It's quite strange to think of a bunny laying eggs. However, it is not true that rabbits don't have eggs. All mammals have eggs, but the difference between mammals and egg-laying animals like birds or reptiles is that mammals keep their eggs inside their bodies. This includes humans, rabbits, bunnies, and hares. So yes, rabbits do have eggs. There are egg-laying mammals such as the platypus and the echidna. However, rabbits, bunnies, hares, or whatever you want to call them are not an example of egg-laying mammals. Before we wrap up, let's take a look at some fun facts about bunnies, rabbits, and hares that you might not know. But before we do, tell me in the comments below what is your favorite furry animal. I do like bunnies a lot, but my favorite furry animal would have to be the panther. But my absolute favorite animal actually doesn't have fur. Can you guess what it is? If you're enjoying this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and now, on to the fun facts. Did you know that rabbits have a wide field of vision? They can see nearly 360 degrees around them, making it harder for predators to sneak up on them. The world's fastest rabbit is the black-tailed jackrabbit, which can reach speeds of 45 miles per hour, faster than most other species. Rabbits have a special way of communicating with each other. They thump their hind legs on the ground to warn each other of danger, a behavior known as thumping. A jackalope is a mythical creature from North American folklore, often described as a jackrabbit with an antelope or deer-like horns. Stories of the jackalope originated in the western United States, particularly in states like Wyoming, where taxidermists would create hoax mounts by attaching antlers to stuffed rabbits. Legend says that jackalopes are fast, elusive creatures that can mimic human voices. While they aren't real, the myth remains popular and jackalope-themed souvenirs are common in some regions. There are more than 50 species of rabbits and hares worldwide found in a wide range of environments from deserts to forests to grasslands. Before making this video, I knew that there were differences between rabbits and hares, but I actually thought they were minor differences. In fact, I thought they were so similar that they might be able to crossbreed. But in fact, a rabbit and a hare cannot mate. They are completely different species and far enough removed from each other that they cannot produce viable offspring. As you've learned today, bunnies, rabbits, and hare are not just cute. They have rich histories, fascinating biology, and deep connection to cultural traditions like Easter. From their roles as symbols of fertility and renewal to their ability to reproduce in large numbers, these animals are remarkable in many ways. Whether they're hopping around in your garden or playing a central role in holiday traditions, bunnies, rabbits, and hares have earned their place in our hearts and imaginations. Thank you for joining me on this journey to discover more about these incredible creatures creatures. I hope you enjoyed learning about their unique traits, fascinating lives, and their special place they hold in the world. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share it with your friends. Teachers and homeschooling parents, if you're teaching about bunnies, rabbits, or hares, be sure to check the link in the description for educational resources to make learning fun and engaging while making your prep time easy. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to get messy and make lots of mistakes today. Bye!